All right, now so here's the parts of the Hulkbuster, and um, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna actually my wife, she's the one who has more experience in this. We're gonna use an airbrush to see if the colors, you know, if we could bring the colors to life through this Hulkbuster, because the actual standard color that it has, it's pretty, it's pretty bad. It looks like a cheap, a cheap toy when it actually a whole wave is not cheap at all. So I hate the color in this. I don't like the finish. So um, we're gonna just do an experiment, see how it works out, and yeah, let's see, let's see what happens. And welcome to another episode of Reboot Robots R and R Collectibles. see the difference between the shimmer that this special paint gives to the armor. It looks more metallic, way more shimmery, and this plastic that looks so dull. Good, yeah I can see that. Nice. Let's see how it comes out then. Right, and there's the finished product and you can see it's kind of uh, surrounded by all the other Marvel Legends mostly what that's involved with this Build-A-Figure you can see the, the Marvel now Iron Man and everything else so and yeah so it looks pretty good glossy I love it and uh, I don't want to take them off the shelf right now I got too excited so I you know just surrounded them with the other action figures but other than that it looks awesome it's posable it's it's great um, after my wife uh, actually uh, airbrush this she put some sort of um, coating or protection on it which actually seals the paint on there so it won't become sticky or whatnot and she left it under a fan for like uh, mostly half a day and it's it's beautiful it just came out beautifully nice so if you stuck around with me for this long thank you so much for watching and please leave a comment like I'll come out with more videos Comic Con's coming very very soon a lot of stuff will be coming on this page so once again thanks for watching peace